Wales came into this game under the closed roof at the Principality Stadium looking for a tenth win in a row against Italy. A win that would confirm them as second place finishers in this year's championship. Dan Lydiot captain the side for the first time in a test match. Scrum half Rhys Webb was making his first start of the season having been injured just before the World Cup. It was Jacques Brunel's last match in charge of the Italians who were licking their wounds after a 43-point defeat in Dublin in their previous game. Martin Castro Giovanni returning from suspension for his 119th cap, one of five in force changes for the Azzurri. The home side made the perfect start when they took the lead inside five minutes. Webb showing that he was back to full fitness, managing to squeeze between the Italian defenders and dart over the line for the first try of the match. The Welsh supporters thrilled to see the Ospreys number nine back in the red jersey and when Dan Bigger converted, Wales were seven points to nil ahead. Two bigger penalties stretched the lead to 13 points to nil, and then Wales hit the Italians with a double whammy. Bigger combined with Jamie Roberts to run past David Giazon, leaving the out half a clear run under the posts. He rarely score an easier try, and when he taps the conversion over, it was a 20 nil lead for the men from the Valleys. Within a couple of minutes, the Welsh had added another seven points with a beautiful try which started from inside their own 22. With George North charging down the right wing, he fed it inside to Bigger and when Jonathan Davies collected, he had a clear run to the line. A brilliant score from the Claremont centre and Wales totally dominant at this stage. Once again, Bigger with a simple conversion making it 27-0, which is how it stayed until the half-time break. Wales picked up in the second half where they left off in the first. After going through over 20 phases, the Welsh struck for a try in the 45th minute. The ball spread wide to Williams, then a lovely offload from North before Jamie Roberts stormed over the line for Wales' fourth try of the afternoon. An excellent offload from the impressive North. And a good finish from the Harlequins man. Wales 32-0 ahead. Try number five for the Welsh came shortly after and it was all about the individual quality of George North. He still had plenty of work to do when he received the ball deep but a tremendous turbo-powered run with a lovely sidestep left Luke McLean stranded and North was over for his fourth try in successive games in this year's championship. The Italians struggling to cope with the power and the pace of the Welsh men and another bigger conversion left it 39 points to nil. There was something for the visiting supporters to cheer in the 53rd minute. The Italian pack pushed towards the Welsh line and the men in blue shirts managed to get over with scrum half Palazzani getting the touchdown. A rare moment of joy for the Azzurri and when Kelly Hamona converted it was 39-7. However, it didn't take long for Wales to get over the line at the other end in response and it was a wonderful score from fullback Liam Williams after a lovely flick pass from Davies. Really nice finish from the Scarlets man, but lots of credit to Davies for his contribution as well. When it was converted by Bigger, he was back to 46-7. But Jack Brunel's men deserve credit for continuing to threaten the Welsh line, and they got the reward in the 62nd minute when Gonzalo Garcia forced his way over for a second Italian try. The man born in Mendoza in Argentina showing good strength to resist the tacklers and get over the line for the score. The offload from Tommy Allen was neat. Another good Hamona conversion left it 46-14. The pendulum swung the other way a couple of minutes later when substitute Ross Moriarty, who'd come on as an early replacement for Justin Tipperick, got over for his first ever try for Wales. Proud moment for the Gloucester flanker. It was converted by Rhys Priestland for 53-14. Then just before the end of the game, the Italians thought they'd got over for a third try as fullback David Odiete ran almost the length of the pitch to cross the line, only for the play to be called back for a Welsh advantage. 
As referee Quattro explained his decision, the home side took their chance. A quick tap from Gareth Davies and Moriarty was over for another score. Again it was converted and Wales were 60 points to 14 ahead. And then with the clock in the red, Wales added insult to Italian injury and the home side got over for a ninth try in the last of the match. Some tired Italian defending allowed Gareth Davies round the action off. The highest number of tries scored by Wales in a championship match. And when it was converted by Priestland with the last kick of the game, it left it 67 points to 14 in the end. It was a record Six Nations win for Gatlin's men, who now play against England at Twickenham in May before touring New Zealand in June. They finish second in the championship for Italy. The Brunel reign ends in disappointment. They collect the wooden spoon. That's 12 defeats from their last 14 games. It finished in Cardiff. Wales 67, Italy 14.